Hello and welcome to the Price Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video is introducing Didari Jakoa, the Prince of the River Sestos. Prince Didari Jakoa was born around 1591. He was the son of Kadi Bia, King of the River Sestos. The river meets the Atlantic at the modern day town of River Sest in Liberia, in between the states now known as Sierra Leone and the Ivory Coast. The small village where Kadibir and his family lived was surrounded by palm and banana trees, situated just a few miles up the River Sestos. Didari's mother would have been one of his father's many wives. As he was growing up, Didari wore a cap to signify his prince's status. He ate the typical children's porridge made of boiled yams, learnt how to navigate a canoe and catch fish. King Kadibir and his father before him were well accustomed to trading with Europeans. It was the Portuguese who gave the river the name we know it by in 1461. Portuguese explorers called it Cestos as this is a Portuguese word for basket. Peppers were sold, called Grains of Paradise, which was a member of the ginger family and commonly used in Europe. In England, it was thought to revive stale wine and ale and have medicinal properties. The people of River Sestos began a regular trade with the Portuguese in pepper, ivory and slaves. It did not take long for the Sestos merchants to realise the value of their goods to the strangers and they quickly raised their prices. By 1530, the French and English traders were beginning to frequent the coast. The people of River Sestos met their first Englishman when John Hawkins' father, William, made a series of voyages to Brazil via Guinea in the 1530s. In 1534, John Locke spent a week at the River Sestos and brought back a ton of pepper and ivory tusks as big as a man's thigh above the knee, and the head of an elephant which went on display to the public. Further voyages to West Africa were undertaken and Elizabeth I granted the Guinea Company exclusive rights to trade with West Africa for 10 years in 1588. By 1650 there had been 150 voyages to Guinea, only beaten by the Dutch who had sent 200 ships between 1599 and 1608. At around the time Didera was born, a merchant named John Davis began trading to Africa from London. He was a haberdasher specialising in hats, buttons and ribbons. By the early 1590s, he had moved on from being a retailing haberdasher and began investing in overseas trade and sponsoring privateering voyages. By 1607, Davies was the leading figure in the Guinea trade and in the late summer of 1610, Didera and his father, King Kadibaya, received one of John Davies' ships at the River Sestos, the Abigail. The Abigail was from Southampton and was captained by Roger News, and it arrived laden with silk, satins, velvet, bread, kettles, iron, and hats to trade with the merchants in exchange for rice, pepper, and ivory. When the Abigail departed for England, Prince Didera Jacoa was amongst its passengers. On New Year's Day, 1611, Didari Jacoa was christened at St Mildred's Poultry. The parish register records the baptism of Jacoa, a king's son in Guinea, aged 20 years. Prince Didari was baptised and named John after John Davis, and he had learned the Lord's Prayer and showed a desire to be baptised. Didari was apparently sent by his father to England, but why? Maybe so he could learn more about the market for the peppers and ivory and bring back commercial knowledge. He could also learn English and then be able to use this to trade. Jacoa was in London for two years. When he was baptised in January 1611, he had only been in the country for a few months and he returned home in the summer of 1612. On July the 10th, 1614, a fleet of three ships from the East India Company, the Samaritan, the Thomas and the Thomasine, under the command of Captain David Middleton, stopped at the River Sestos. They met John Davies, who spoke very good English and had been in England for two years. He was perceived as the king's son of the place. 
he invited Captain Middleton to his father's court and showed him their stores of ivory. King Caddy Beer and his son made great promises of trade if Middleton would stay there with his ships, but he decided to sail on the next day. Englishmen continued to visit River Sestos after 1640 and a factory and trading post was set up but abandoned by 1667. Diderot only spent a few months on English ships and two years in England in total, but he is a very interesting black Tudor. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to like it and subscribe to my channel or follow me at Twitter at Little Miss History 81 at TanyaAlex38 or at Facebook at facebook.com forward slash TanyaAlex38.